How did your friend destroy the friendship? When I realized how shtty she was to me. Always bringing me down and making everything about herself. I was already at a very low point in my life contemplating suicide and disappearing. When I confided in her she brushed it off and didn't talk to me. I didn't need an answer from her or for her to cure my depression I just needed a friend and she wasn't there for me like I was for her and that hurt the most. That day was the beginning of the end for us it just took 2 more years for me to grow the courage to walk away from that relationship. Constantly trying to bang any of my girlfriends I brought around him. He always blamed the booze. I blamed his lack of integrity. Huge scars were left on our friendship and we rarely see each other these days. Edit. I've been really appreciating hearing all of your similar stories. Even if they are slowly draining my faith reservoir in future relationships. Good friend and I work at the same place. By the business. Now friend works for me. Friend falls hard for co-worker. She rebuffs him. He starts stalking her and threatens to commit suicide. Hot mess. Have to let him go. Well I guess she probably didn't really consider me her friend. But I thought of her as mine. Overheard her talking to another friend about how much she couldn't stand me when I was in the booth listening to people's mics to make sure they were working before opening night of the musical. That was pretty crushing. She turned all our female friends against me at university because she liked our mutual male friend and she thought he liked me instead of her. He wasn't into her. But it wasn't because he liked me it was because he was gay. So I lost most of my friends at university in the last year because my moron of a BFF couldn't figure out our other good friend was gay. He literally would say how didn't like the idea of sx with women and told us how he often sleeps in the same bed with other men. Cheated on his amazing girlfriend with the girl he knew I had a crush on. Rubbed it in my face after the fact too. That friendship lasted way too long. Decided he was too good for the rest of us. And only gave us the time of day when he needed something. Unfortunately. Because dude was exceptionally charismatic. Half of the group sided with him when the other half basically told him to screw off. So. He actually destroyed multiple friendships and still uses the half that stuck with him. Really sad to see. Actually. She punched me in the boob. We were inseparable BFF soulmates and I loved her. I even joined choir so we could hang out an extra period. Well. She started treating me like garbage in front of her rude choir friends. And threatened one day as a joke in front of them that she punched me in the boob. I told her if she did it. I'd walk away and never speak to her again because I didn't like how she was treating me. That's the only time I have ever followed through on a threat so serious. Sure enough. She did it and we didn't talk for 3 years. Even then. It was just a nasty message from her about how stupid I was. I'm still a little sad about it. 10 years later. But it was a good choice on my part. She was having a bad day and decided to tell me what she really thought of me because fck it. I guess. Okay then. Good to know. I won't waste any more of either of our lives then. I was 18 and I got drunk at her house because I thought it was a safe place to do so. She was 20 and her bf was 21 and he bought the booze with our money. Her dad was cool with it and he said as long as you are being safe and not driving home. Kids will be kids. Just be safe so me and her and her bf. Two other female friends. And her dad drank together. I was the youngest and the drunkest. I ended up vomiting all over their bathroom. And passing out on their futon. At about 3am her bf snuck out of her room and r ped me in the living room. Literally right outside her bedroom. I was too drunk passed out to fight back. And I barely remember. But I remembered enough to wake up in the morning. Crawl into her room. And timidly accuse him in front of her. She believed him. Friendship ruined. About two years later. He admitted to it and they split up and she still hasn't spoken to me. She's probably too embarrassed at this point because she knows she screwed up royally. The FK went and died on me. Edit. I've seen one or two people asking about what happened so let me tell the story. 
He was a year older than me and was finishing up his first year of college. It was finals week and he was walking around campus and noticed a man harassing a group of women. He stepped in and ended up getting stabbed multiple times. He died in the hospital that night. His death really hit the county and university hard. They ended up honoring him with an official day of remembrance at the university to be observed yearly on the 11th of May. When he became my stepdad. He took the your mom thing way I I I I too far. She started screaming, over text, out of nowhere about how I never make an effort to see her and how I'm too busy seeing other people to care about hanging out with her. She lives over an hour away. And since I don't drive it's expensive to get to her. And she always wanted to do things last minute anyway. She also started making wild accusations and had nothing to back up her claims with. And then she started bringing my deceased mother into the mix. That was the last straw. She never wanted to talk things over like a rational adult. And I don't have time for high school drama in my mid 20s. So I walked away. If she wants to come back and discuss things maturely. I'm here. But if not then I'm over it. A good friend from high school came back into my life via Facebook a few years ago. We reconnected and became inseparable. Watching movies and playing video games every weekend. Our kids became close friends as well. One night I was watching TV with my wife of 20 years and he, my ex-friend, started texting my wife. He said he had a problem and needed her help with. She met with him and he confessed he loved her and watched her all the time. He had several candid pics on his phone of her, mostly from behind. He showed her to prove his love. He said he'd take better care of her than I did. She was disgusted and left to tell me immediately. I called him to discuss it but he wouldn't answer. It's been 3 years and he hasn't contacted our family. Lifelong friendship ruined. Literally shot me in the back of the head. We were hunting this past season and a bird flew overhead while he was sitting behind me in the canoe. Not sure how he thought this would be a good idea but he sent two shots whirling over my head and a piece of bird shot caught me in the back of the head. When I regained my hearing and yelled at him. He got mad at me for telling him what to do. He went out with my female best friend. Cheated and hurt her. Then proceeded to go out with my crush. Cheated and hurt her. Fking hell. I made the decision to move out of state and they flipped out on me. Won't even talk to me now. All because I moved. Best friend of 8 years. I moved about 6 hours away from home to go to college and every time she'd come to visit me she would make the trip and crash somewhere else. Just coming to party. Wouldn't make any effort to see me. On my 21st she actually surprised me, which was like the nicest thing she's ever done, by coming down but brought her pose boyfriend. We made plans to go out that night so I told my new boyfriend and housemates that I was going out with my best friend and to leave without me while I waited for her. After getting ready for 2 hours. Making us apps and cocktails. I tried to get a hold of her for like 5 hours. Nothing. Turns out she decided to lay in bed with her BF at someone else's house. Never said sorry or talked about it again. Spent my 21st alone. Too embarrassed to tell my other friends BF that my best friend ditched me. It was 6th grade and I was kinda realizing that I wasn't straight but that I also wasn't gay. I told her that I had a crush on this older girl in 8th grade. I trusted her as my best friend to keep her mouth shut and not to judge me for anything. Instead she told everyone including my parents and the girl that I was a lesbian and then told me she couldn't be my friend because I would uh, pay her. He liked drugs. Then. He liked harder drugs. Then he sold hard drugs out of his place with his one year old. If I knew where he lived. I would call CPS. FCKU. You can just call CPS on him. They'll figure out where he lives. Constantly criticizing everything I did. As well as making fun of every mistake I made around him. It got to the point where the meme in the friend group was that I was wrong about anything. And everything. He tried reconnecting with me a year or so after I stopped talking to him. Told him to eat a dick. Borrowing my car. 
then crashing my car killing my ex gf and three other people on the freeway then running from the scene of the crime. Me finding this out when cops showed up at my house arresting me telling me I was the driver. Only to find out 3 hours later I was nowhere near the car for the last week. Went for my girlfriend right after we broke up. They're married now. I tried to reconcile even. They wouldn't have it. Moved away and blocked me on everything. Now we're not friends I guess. It sounds like he may not have just been going for her after you broke up. Best friend through teenage years into late 20s. Roommates. We were both best man at each other's wedding and then business partners. He stole a ton of money from the business and stopped paying our bills. He was using our money to fund drug dealers car rentals each week. My guess is that he was getting free drugs out of it. He also used company money to fund his eye entire wedding which was an absolute nightmare. He didn't used to be like that but meeting and marrying that woman changed him. Now he's 32. Moved back home live with his family. Divorced and miserable. I can't tell you how much I hate that man. Sean knows. Actually he probably doesn't and that's the issue. We had been friends for two decades and I finally realized he wasn't a very good friend. He's more of a narcissistic asshole that prefers friends as long as they center their actions around him. Well fck that. We had some good times brother. But I'm not your bitch. I was upset because my other best friend was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer in her early 30s. I don't give a shti about your friend with cancer says my best friend of 15 years. That was the last time I talked to her. But I still miss her every day. My former friend group hates my current so. She didn't mind me hanging out with them because they were still my friends and she's not the kind of person to tell me who I can and can't be friends with. They. On the other hand. Kept telling me that I could do better and questioning why I was even with her. It all came to a head when they gave me an ultimatum of us or her. I was very direct and told them her. I told them she would never put me in this position and they are not really friends if they think they can manipulate me like that. Haven't spoken to them since and am happy with my current so. He kept inviting my ex to every event we would go to. Dot. In his defense though. It was his twin sister. He thought it was cool to start hanging out with my bully. Never talk to him again. He shot himself in the head. I miss him terribly. I still think of you every day. Tyler. She's one of those I'm not like other girls. Said she hates drama but will always gossip about her friends and talk badly about them behind their back, including myself I'm sure. Will enter relationships with guys and then complain they aren't up to her standards example. I'm a good person. I deserve better and not be treated this way. She said this after an ex couldn't get to her place to take care of her when she was sick. Runs through relationships with her friends like clockwork. She hasn't done one thing per se but a lot of things and I'm just tired of it all. Offered to drive me home from a party when I was drunk. Arphead me. When he told me he was into child pornography. This was a 23 year old man that would lure young girls, age 10-14, on the internet into sending him naked pictures by pretending he was a young girl and wanting to compare bodies. He told me he would then blackmail them with the pictures so they would send more. And he thinks some of them might have even killed themselves. He had over a thousand of these pictures on his phone. Yeah. I told the authorities. And last I heard. They took him in. But I don't know if they found anything or what happened with him. But I haven't been in contact with him for a long time. We broke up. He was my high school sweetheart and fiance at the time. He was casually taking college courses. I was working full time and paying all the bills. None of that was really an issue until he got a part time job but refused to help pay for anything. He was the only person to use the TV. So I asked him to pay for that bill only. He told me that I made more money and could just pay it. When I explained that's not how it works. He told me to ask my mom for help. It all seemed so backwards and weird. I realized from that conversation that this was someone I couldn't depend on. And that our breakup was a long time coming. 
told me extensive details on her sx life. Harassed me to talk to her every second I was home and then. Upon me asking for some space as I had work to do and was going through scary medical stuff. Threw a fit and insisted that I never listened to her and only ever talked about myself. Never talk to that selfish bitch again. Hope you never managed to convince that poor boy to let you blow him. You cursive to what? By sleeping with my husband. When I lived with my mate whenever he needed wanted anything like a new TV or a fridge, we agreed before I moved in that my rent would cover my share of anything like that. He would go buy it and demand half saying it was a purchase for the flat and accuse me creating an atmosphere when I didn't have you acute 300 or you acute 400 on me to pay it right there and then. When I told him I was moving out on the 28th of the month he said because I paid my rent on the first he was going to need the next month's rent too because he wouldn't be able to fill it before the first. All this for a 220cm by 220cm room. Getting married. I helped him move into her condo and she just stood there with her arms crossed. She wouldn't drive him to pick up the moving truck or to drop it off and she refused to help move anything. After moving into her place. He spent more nights at my house than hers and when he did spend nights there she didn't. I redid my guest bedroom into a room for him at his request. I spoke with my girlfriend and son about him moving in. He asked if he could live with me over and over. So finally I told him to just move in. He moved all his stuff into my place and before spending one night here. She bought a house and he asked her to marry him. He told me he didn't love her. He didn't want to marry her but he felt at 30 he was supposed to be married or his life wasn't going anywhere. I had spent 2 years trying to help him through this tough situation and it took a toll on my own relationship. I walked away from almost 20 years of friendship and haven't looked back. She just stopped responding to me one day. No explanation of what I did or anything. I reached out a few times. But haven't heard anything. He started dealing in absolutes. Sith happens. I spent two years publicly fending off a stalker. And became very touchy about privacy and paranoid about being safe and alone in my home. My friend. Who I hadn't seen in nearly a decade despite several invitations to visit. Announces on Facebook that she's going to be vacationing at my house. News to me. I quietly let her know that no. She wouldn't. So much for that lifelong friendship. Her boyfriend felt threatened by me. And asked her not to have contact with me. In order to get on his good side she did as he asked. She appropriated my personality to the point where I heard her expressing some of my most unique and totally weird, because. A. Sometimes I am weird, opinions and thoughts as her own. Then she stole one of my shoes. And slashed my tire. Okay. Bye bye then. Not just friend but sister. She made my wedding all about her. Then she tried to destroy my marriage saying that he had hit on her. Considering he was never around her unless I was there I knew she was lying. Already for years the woman had took advantage of my love for her by letting me take her with me to concerts on my dime. After all this I found out she had been mentally abusing my autistic daughter when she provided childcare for me. It has been almost 5 years and all I can say when our aunt tries to repair bridges is no thank you. F King multi level marketing scams. Was my best friend for years. We went out separate ways after high school. Decided to reconnect and invited him over for dinner. He brings some strange dude with him and they are both wearing suits. Right after dinner runs to car to grab a easel and presentation materials. Done. Friendship over GTFO. He hit his wife knocked her out right in front of me.